seven something in the morning. Steve had to come to Voodoo Donuts. But dear God, it is early and it is loud in here. But look at that. It's a coffin bin. But for real, it's really loud in here. And way too early. It's good to meet you. We appreciate you coming in today and, and giving us a little introduction to uh, some of your music. And um, first of all, tell us a little bit about Carrie Roberts. Sure. How'd you get started in, in this in this thing in called this Christian crazy music? World. Yeah. Yes, um, music for me, church music, is just something that's a part of life. Um, I'm the youngest daughter of a pastor's family. Um, just grew up singing in the church every Sunday. Um, almost just like breathing. I don't remember not doing that. Mm. Um, like joined the church choir when I was five years old, literally like that young I started. And then just continued performing through high school. I have a degree in um, studio music and jazz vocal performance from the University of Miami in Coral Gables. Um, and that's just continued to just be really passionate about writing and performing and that's kind of how I got started. This is our enemy, our enemy Tom Tom, who likes to ruin our life. It's Steve's most favorite thing that he has. <laughs> so we're leaving K Love, which is positive, encouraging. It's not positive and encouraging, even though that's what the sign says. So we're on our way to the airport where we might miss our flight, but it's okay. <laughs> and we're going to tell you a little story from last night where Steve almost killed us. So, Steve. Don't look at the camera. Keep your eyes on the road, please. So, oh, she won't shut up. So anyway, we're leaving the restaurant from a lovely dinner with the folks from K-Love. And uh, this thing right here tells Steve to turn left. So he proceeds to turn left down a one-way street going the wrong way. As you can see, he's being totally silent about this. Well, I think I only deserve 49% of the blame. And why would that because be? Because my co-pilot <laughs> says very casually that we're going the wrong way. <laughs> I just didn't but see there the... there was no sense of urgency, even though oncoming traffic was an issue. I didn't see the need to panic, even though a head-on collision was about ready to happen. Um, That's exactly when you should panic. I just calmly said, hey, you're, you're doing it wrong, you're going the wrong way. But luckily, we didn't die. It was a good thing. Dying is not a bad career move. <laughs> oh, I mean, no. He has the theory that that would be the one way to make my single work. No, I'm not saying it's the only way. <laughs> but I'm saying it is a it's a quicker way, I probably. Think, I think as far as follow-up, though, that's kind of a bad plan. Michael Jackson's come back. <laughs> okay, he had quite the career before his death. <laughs> Thanks. I suppose. 